Are you having problems using PhotoRex on your model ships? Well, in this video, I'll explain an easy to follow process which might help you out. There are a few different ways of fixing brass photo etch in place on model ships and I'll be taking you through the way that I do it myself. But what process do you use? Let me know in the comments below. Right, so how exactly do you stick brass photo etch onto a plastic model? First off you need a few bits. You need a plastic model kit. You need photo etch to go with the model kit. This is the USS Hopper which I've been building in the background as a bit of a break. It comes with photo etch. You can either buy separate sets entirely or sort of more generic ones but this one came with the kit. Tweezers, a lot of these places, sorry, a lot of these parts are very, very small, so you'll need these. You need something metallic with a nice flat edge. I use this very small 15 centimeter long steel ruler um, because you need a nice flat square edge. That'll be more apparent in a minute. <coughs> a knife to cut the photo edge out. Super glue. Comes in all different sizes and flavors. This Gorilla Glue is a big favorite of mine. It's a um, more thick variety. You can use thin super glue. It's a little bit harder to get hold of um, than normal stuff, but you can use either generally. And then lastly, I use a bit of greaseproof paper. Pinch some from the kitchen, you'll see in a second. Right, hopefully you can see here that we have a nice bit of brass photo etch railing on the hopper, just on the bow piece here. Now this is basically one piece of photo etch you cut out trim to size if need be, basically sand down some of the sprue points, it's a wrong term but that's basically the best analogy, and then a bit of a test fit and then lastly you glue it in place. What you're aiming for is a nice clean point of contact between the metal and the plastic so that you don't have tons of excess glue, it doesn't stick to your hands and it looks very very nice. So how do we go about doing this? So what I'm going to do is basically put the comparison part, the other side, on here and um, this is how we do it. So first off you need to cut the photo etch off of the sprue. Um, one downside about this hopper kit is that it doesn't actually give instructions of which parts on the photo etch you need to put where. So you have to basically make it up a bit yourself. But luckily the railing is all pretty generic and you can just bend it. So I know I need to cut it to a certain size, so I'll do that now. Now it's not too bad on this particular piece, but some photo etch kits, basically the sprue parts of the kit of the photo etch, you need to sort of sand off any bit. So if you do get a sanding stick, I'd prefer a sanding stick as opposed to an actual metal file because these things are so delicate you don't want to destroy it and sand away until you're nice and happy with it. But this one's okay, so we'll proceed as is. So next up is the trickiest part of all of this, I think. You need to basically, you've got these three straight lines here two corners, you need to bend the photo etch, line it up and make sure you count so many number of railing lengths across, bend it, so many more lengths, bend it and hopefully the idea being you have a nice contact flush here and flush against the side wall here and it's nice and straight and you don't have any bits sticking out over the sides. Now it's a bit tricky and I'm not 100% sure if this is going to come across in the video or not but we'll try anyway. So I know that I need to bend the first piece which will be this small length here at the front, which is about one and a half railing lengths. Come on camera, focus. So you can see here that there's different railings are set lengths. I'm going to try and bend it one and a half bits along. So let's try and do that. So what I do is these tweezers are thankfully a 90 degree almost bend. So you try and sort of set it where you want the bend to be. And as I mentioned earlier, get hold of this nice flat ruler and very, very carefully bend it in place. So we're about there. So then that's one bend. So then what we want to try and do is line it up. And I'm not sure if this is going to come across, but we shall see. Okay, so after a bit of a test, I know that I've overcooked it slightly, the bend. So what I'm going to try and do is just push it back a little bit, and that should be fine. Okay, so that's the first one done. So now I need to go across five more. So we've got one, two, three, four, five vertical bars. Put my tweezers in place there. 
get the ruler again and bend this one over. It's being a bit naughty. Let's try that again. Bend, 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 bend. And then we have a test fit. That's not too bad. Just straighten up any. This stuff is so soft that you can very occasionally completely accidentally bend it in parts, which is what I've done. So it's going to be very careful. But yeah, that lines up pretty nice. So that's that bit done. So how do we actually stick it onto the model? Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, um, if you use this greaseproof paper, not only does it um, stop everything getting covered in superglue, especially your workbench, but it's also quite um, resistant to superglue. So you can sort of slide it around, and when you see what I'm going to do in a second, it'll make a bit of sense. So take your superglue, give it a shake first, and what you want to do is put a nice dollop. I'm probably going to put more than I actually need for this particular bit on the paper. And then this is a tip I personally try and do, but it's entirely up to you. Make sure you're in frame, there you go. Is as I mentioned only about sort of having thin super glue because this is the thick stuff. If you try and sort of just spread it out a little bit using something at the end of these tweezers here. So you want a nice thin layer as opposed to something really thick. Now obviously super glue is the only thing that's going to be able to stick the photo etch onto the plastic. So you've kind of only got one or two chances of this. This stuff is so fragile, you can pull it off, but it will basically destroy the piece. So you don't really want to do it. So you've got to get it right. So it's that old adage, measure twice, cut once. So we've measured, we're happy with the way it all fits. Do it again, just make absolutely sure. Yes, right, everything's fine. So this is the this is the trick. So take it the uh, piece in the tweezers, on the super glue, on the grease proof paper, and basically just have a bit of a wipe across. So you get a nice, thin, but well coated layer of super glue. And then go over to your model. Gently, 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 gently get this all lined up. Stick it down and let go. Bit of an extreme close up, hopefully, it's still in focus. But basically, that is it. If you've ever used super glue, you know that it takes a couple of seconds to set, to bite, as I like to call it. And then once that's done, you just leave it to dry, just generally don't touch it. So there's a bit of a bow on. You can see the two pieces in place now. So you've got the one on the left, which I've just done, and the one on the right, which I've glued in place a month or so ago. But that's it. You just leave it, do not touch it, like I'm doing here, but I can just feel there's a little give still, so it's still drying, but that's basically it. So that's it. As I mentioned at the start of the video, this is just my technique. There are lots of others. Um, I know people use white glue on occasion, but uh, as I mentioned, please let me know in the comments below if you've got any other tips and tricks, because I'd love to hear from them. There might be an easy way that I'm just not aware of, but um, that's the joy of, you of YouTube, I suppose. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And again, yeah, please subscribe if this sort of video is um, of interest to you. It's not all about tutorials. I've got various builds going on, namely the 1 to 350 scale Nimitz, which I'm working on, um, and also just got a week and a bit to go on my 500 subscriber giveaway video. So I'll put a link up in the uh, card on the top right hand corner here. Um, so if you'd like to take part in that, uh, go over and watch that video. But thanks for watching um, and uh, happy modeling. Take care. Bye bye.